What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Curtis. And I'm Zach. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. You know why you're here. Wavy. Only human. Special Patreon request from Melly. Thank um, you, Melly. Thank you. Sure. Um, I feel like some of my guys are missing on this. Show. Yeah. Where the hell is Tun? <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it was like, something I missed it. It was like, it's worth niggas missing in just 10. I don't know what type of song this is going to be, though, because Wavy hit you with anything. I'm going to go with Ballad again. Uh, I'm going to go rap. I'm going to go rap because if 10 um, and because <laughs> if 10 and Shaozu, uh like aren't on here. Oh, that's a and good point. Come. I don't really know the, the subunit, kind of like who... When, when rap, rap, Lucas can rap, Henry can rap, and Yin Yang can rap. Okay. Um, but people can sing, too. Like, I've heard them, like, sing and Usually shit, Usually just on subunit songs, I kind of expect more... Um, I don't want to say expect more ballads, because, um, you know, that's not necessarily fair to say. But it's also the only human title. Like, it feels kind of a little more sentimental, perhaps. But. <laughs> Niggas is about to do a cypher and shit to a gentleman called only human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. They'll crush it if they did. Yeah, fuck it. Let's find out what this is. Man. Let's see. Vocals in the back, I hear you. I 
like that whole um I'm not gonna call it like the the, the Drake joint, but you know what I mean? They're like they ain't no, they ain't no, they ain't no. It's like, like a similar yeah. voice register. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Joint was catchy as shit. Um I'm I'm actually very glad it wasn't rap because like I said, to to my knowledge at least, I believe this is a majority of rap line. Um, so for them to kind of had did uh, like obviously had some rap in there was uh, oh, some melodic off, cadences because uh, uh, Yang Yang started like snapping at, at one point and shit. Um, Start blank. But um, I I love the tones and everything. I love the inflections on their voice on here. Um, I thought it was a, a I'm not gonna say a change of pace for some members because I believe Wavy for the most part people kind of do whatever they feel like whether it's rapping or singing. Um, but this just uh, that you know I'm only human. Mm-hmm. Then the, uh, 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 uh. like it just kind of had like such a, a, a dope vibe and like some great energy to it. Um, I like this a lot, man. This this feels like a little bit of a change of tempo for some of the stuff that we've seen Wavy do too. So I think that's yeah. decent. Um, I feel like I've never just kind of seen this pairing because uh, if 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 ten uh, and not well, let me word this nicely because I don't want people like to kind of take it the wrong way. When when I saw Ten and like Chaozu weren't uh like there, um I wasn't sure like if anyone went the singing route, how much you can do with that as far as like you know if you needed to belt something or do like a crazy falsetto, but yeah. I think they stayed right in the elements like right in those pockets of where whatever the uh, I'm not gonna say vocal limitations but they seem comfortable. Um, it didn't feel like anybody did anything that like was you know straining their voice or was in a, a octave that they didn't belong in. Everything felt organic and it felt smooth. Um, so I'm happy about that. There's definitely a comfortability to the track and the register of everything. Everything feels almost smooth and comforting, kind of mm-hmm. in the way it's delivered. So I see what you mean as far as the vocal, like you know. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like this a lot as well. I like Yang Yang, I like Win Win. Lucas smoked it. All four of them killed this track, honestly. I like the not only human aspect towards the whole song and their lyrics towards it. Everything they said was human-like. They go through their whatever. It was a great song. I like this a lot. Yeah, I thought this was really solid. Like, it was, um, I would say particularly... Um Sorry, whose uh, name is that in the the Win Win Lucas? Far, the far end? Yeah, yang, yang. yang Yang. Yeah, that verse was kind of the verse that I would say stood out to me the most. That first verse um, he wrote. I think so. Because that was like also like when we were getting a little bit past um the what we were seeing what the hook was. Mm-hmm. So kinda when we got into that verse, like mind you, I was still kind of somewhat not knowing if it would have been a valid a ballad, excuse me. He just started uh, so going when on. that rap verse just came in and yeah. immediately I was just like, you know. Um, but also, I do like that all of them were really able to get off like comfortable like 16s, it felt like, as well. Um, and it's not to say anything about K-pop in general or anything like that, but it's just, um, generally speaking, if you get kind of four to six lines, it, it's hard to kind of, by the time you're into someone's verse, it's like they're on to the next verse mm-hmm. or on to the next, um, Person. you know, it could be a bridge, could be a hook, anything like that. So I, I like that, like, you really get to delve into their verses like it, it didn't feel like like it, it just felt all the more immersive but when you pair that with the comfortability and the soothingness of the vocals that were kind of you know there with it as well as you had said you know the when um the 808 kicked in mm-hmm. and you had um i believe the acoustic guitar mm-hmm. um i know it was a guitar I, I wasn't quite sure if it was acoustic or electric at that point i think it was acoustic i want to say so um but all i have to say was like the comfortable register of that in the production with the soothing vocals, but then there was like a real punch that, that came with uh, the verse structure. But, and plus, I always love introspective kind of lyrics in general when you're talking about humans and the human right. condition, kind of just like all those things that can kind of apply to, to anyone, you know, to where like when you say anything about that, you're questioning the human within you, the human around you. Like it's just, there's something so immersive I feel about that. And I felt that they expressed that uh, really beautiful throughout this as well. Yeah, also, um, I, I guess let me take that back a little bit. Technically, all all of them are considered sub-vocalists as well. Okay. Um, it's crazy, too. Almost damn near everybody in the group is a visual. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you said like when we first... Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm rap on. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> 
No, nah, but um, like literally, uh, the the group damn near feel like all rounders almost for every member and stuff. Um, literally, everyone's like a vocalist or a rapper, visual center dancer. Um, so yes, yeah, so I guess Wavy does everything. I'm wrong. Even when we checked out uh, like the first couple tracks from it, I felt like we kind of got that vibe as well. Like it didn't feel like anyone was ever like really. I don't want to say being left behind or anything like that, but whenever it was anyone's turn to particularly step up, whether it was vocally or in the rap or anything, it just it felt like each of them were bringing it equally. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not saying that you know just to be agreeable or anything like that, but it's like um, Wavy was one of the early groups that we checked out that I was really drawn to. Mm -hmm. But it was one of the groups that you know like it's been harder to get back around to, uh, just because of like how much of the K-pop journey has happened for us in between. Um, so I was always really curious to kind of circle back to them and just see and just kind of evaluate those tracks with fresh eyes. We, um, we talk about them too kind of yeah. a lot just because mm -hmm. Henry has your favorite bar on Misfit yeah. and Henry yeah. and Yin Yang both <laughs> rap on Misfit. Yeah. So um, so like we, we, we've we been talking about them We're here and there. The yeah, but like you said, it's just kind of circling that block to kind of get back to Wavy. Yeah. Is, uh, so is hearing like this out. kind of fresh song from them, it's it's you know, and also I could be wrong. I don't want to quote this as a B side or anything necessarily. I think this but, is a B side, but just knowing that it's not what traditional of what we had heard from you know the the title tracks and all those you know tracks are incredible, of course. But it's just I really like the that deeper dive into kind of more of um you know what they're able to do really, um, even if this is just clearly one small facet of it. It's just that the, the title tracks have gravitated towards me a lot. And knowing that, like, you know, uh, you're getting these explorations, especially on something that's relatively, like, that introspective. Um, yeah, that really just hit on all cylinders for me. Okay. Yeah. So this is from the 2020 album, Wavy's first album. Title tracks, Return Back Time, Bad Alive. So, yeah, this is one of those B-sides. Um, sixth album of the song after interlude. So this might... Probably is a change of tempo in the album if they do it with the, you know, the theory me and you always have. Like, yeah, track list matters. The, yeah, no, it does, especially if you're trying to tell a story, at least it matters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add, bro? Yeah, yeah. Any more you want to add? You seen any lyrics that jump out at you? No, there was a couple, but just uh, to briefly touch on like one or two is um, I did like how it was like, um, all I know is how to hide a generation full of lies. Like basically, you're you're not only calling into effect that what it means to be human in that aspect, but you're you're separating yourself as an individual from what the masses are doing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but mind you, those are like some of the opening kind of lyrics that they express throughout it. So it's just already in those first few lines, they're kind of painting you in a picture where you're able to separate yourself as an individual from everything that's going on around you. And I just think, like what like that's the perfect stepping stone to um, something introspective. Mm -hmm. Like, take the masses of everyone that's human and then separate it down to an individual and kind of tell the story through that sort of perspective. It just allows it to be really immersive. And it only t was literally, like, the first few lines of the song. Um, but, yeah, just to say that that was a really great stepping uh, stone to kind of get to, you know, that, that much deeper lyricism. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm good, man. This this was a good track. Um Y'all got to tell us what wavy B-sides y'all want us to, to get into and what title tracks we might be missing from them. Uh, definitely want to spend the block on them a little bit more. Um, other than that, we love you guys. We're going to holler at y'all. Love y'all.